Hey folks, Scott Grove here, Dr. Groovy, GroovyMusicLessons.com today to show you some old school stuff. Um, some stuff that uh, actually was a piano part on Runaway by Bon Jovi, then it um, came around an awful lot during the 80s in uh, guitar parts. Um, things that you'll remember very well. I'll uh, throw a little something by you and then you'll kind of remember how it goes. <laughs> All right, so some groovy stuff like that. Um, and I'll show you a few different places to play it, but yeah, it's actually very valid and can still be brought back today. Um, everything that was old is new again, so a very effective little lick and also um, pretty cool if you don't have a keyboard player, you can throw that in a couple times a night just to uh, kind of emulate that feel. So let's get down here. I'm actually using a uh, seven string today, so uh, but we're just actually going to concentrate on the... Uh, Oh, about your E, B, G, and D strings. All the way up there. Um, I'll shut some of this delay, all of it off actually right now. And uh, uh, I gotta love the hair on there. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, this is an old Squire, man. Check these suckers out if you ever get to. Uh, Stage Master 7. Um, cool axes. You can get them for dang near nothing. They're superb guitars. Okay, so anyway, there's a couple different variations as far as chords that you can use to make this happen. Number one, just make a regular old D chord. Okay, so what we're going to do is just simply put the pinky down on the uh, third fret on your high E string. Okay, so we're going to make everything very staccato, which means just very sharp and cut off. Okay, if you want to, you can use um, two fingers like this, put them together like this. Bingo. So that's one way to do it that I always thought was cool. If you're not doing that, then get used to whatever makes it work for you. So you can do like a D chord. So three times is what I'm saying for now. And I'm only hitting the E string and the B string. Take off your middle finger. So you have an open E string. Now you are palm muting back here at the bridge as much as you can. So hardly any notes are coming out, just the... Uh, meat of it, trying to make it bigger than it is. Okay, so you're just pulling off to open on the high E, back to the second fret to make your whole entire D chord, then adding your pinky on the third fret on the high E string. And whatever works for you. And one more time, we can actually go from the fifth, a uh, third fret here, I'm sorry, on the high E string and make a big stretch with your pinky up to the fifth fret. And now we can take, this here's going to be the reason I put it here is to show you the one open position. So we're in D, of course. Now, if we were to go down to C, okay, we're actually left with taking that D chord, going backwards. So you've only got one finger, which is your ring finger, on the first fret of the B string. Now you have to treat everything else as you did before. So put a pinky down on the first fret. So that's what you have to do for your C until we get to a different um, formation, which I'll show you very shortly. Okay. 
okay and the way they would use this a lot back in the 80s when doing that <laughs> You know, just hurry up and throw it in and then do a quick lead thing. Um, okay, of course, wherever you put this, your ring finger is going to designate what um, key you're playing in or what chord you're actually playing, I should say. So if we were to go all the way up to A, you just take the whole D chord. So you have your ring, ring finger here on the 10th fret and still make your D shape chord. Okay, so you have to take a finger and reach back. Okay, so this here is the different part. Um, different meaning the same configuration, but the uh, last inversion of this. So you're going to have to take that, put your middle finger up on the um, G string, and then grab your first finger and put it on the high E string all the way back to the seventh fret. Um, you can always um, kind of arpeggiate those two. Whatever works for you. So there's A. Take it back to your NG. Okay, so that's the way you get those. The uh, other way I'm going to show you is just by using an A chord now. Let's uh, do it in D again like we were here. So we can do the D and the C because I told you when we did this C is an open thing. Um, it doesn't leave for you to hit, you know, the note that should be a D note um, like this one. You don't get to do it in C. You'd have to do that and you can't do it. So let's do like an A chord, but move it up to the seventh fret. Okay, and we're gonna play the D, G, B strings. Okay, so we're moving um, our middle finger is gonna go up to the eighth fret on the B string and then on the tenth fret of the B string. Now, if you want to use those other ones, this here's the best way to do it, like this kind of an A. We're not using your first finger. Now go up to the seventh fret. Okay, now you would put your first finger back here, two frets behind at the fifth fret. So now you're lifting off your pinky. Now we get to fix that C thing. Move it all back. So you still have your first finger at the um, third fret. Okay, so now that we think about it, we can do the D the way we did. And now the C. Okay, and then move it around wherever. So again, now your G string is going to dictate wherever or whatever chord you're playing. So if you were up there playing an E, you would be up at the ninth fret. Now that you're up high enough, you can actually reach up. You know, because your frets are getting closer, you can reach up and grab the uh, 12th fret with your pinky. See, now that you can do that, you can actually bar across at the 12th fret and grab your high E string as well on the 12th fret. Okay, so we might be able to do it on the D. Who knows? Let's find out. Uh, I'm not quite 
long enough in the pinky there to do that. Okay, so um, last place we can do it will be on, well, any of your lower strings too. Uh, again, don't let the seventh string on here freak you out. So here on the, um, there's the D string. Let's go to the A string, fifth fret. So you got a D note. Okay, now you're going to go to the fourth fret on your D string. Okay, so there you've got, I've got a little bit of clipping going on here. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Okay, so you're on D on a fifth fret on your A string, fourth fret on your D string. Go to the fifth fret, seventh fret. Okay, so you get all that. Now stretch way down and get the second fret on your D string. Kind of a cool chord, actually. If you um, are familiar with a uh, Molly Hatchet song called Dreams I'll Never See, that's how they came up with this whole thing. Is, well, that's what they're using anyway. And okay, so that's basically it, but that's doing a lot of the... So um, decide yourself if you want to do the um, arpeggiated thing. Or the double stops. If you want to do a big um, triad. You want to open it up any, or if you want to use your open D string, maybe. Okay, now also think of, um, just for fun, the uh, brown-eyed girl kind of things. Okay, the stuff you probably already know. And do the same thing with them. Okay, so too wimpy. Add the low D string. Okay. So if we add it in the uh, Beat Buddy, uh, good old drum machine thing down here, I'll explain this one on a review pretty soon. And I'll just show you a few of those little chords and you can figure out what to put them in for yourself.
Okay, so there you go. Just some quick ways to get that old, uh, again, old 80 stuff again. I, oh, my poor camera. <laughs> um, again, got that off Runaway. Again, from, um, yeah, Bon Jovi. And throw in all your delays and stuff and make it really cool. <laughs> That makes it really nice. Let me check it out one time. stuff good times yeah good times <laughs> okay once again scott grove groovy music lessons.com um something very easy but something you can uh forge into your own little repertoire and uh do whatever you want with it um put it in there and forget it if you want uh maybe one time in the 80s was one time too many but again it's such a uh, familiar sound that i guarantee you'll use it use it or lose it kiddies uh, I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care and bye-bye.